Good evening. One of the candidates in the hotly contested congressional race in southern New Mexico is under fire from her own party over what she tweeted following last night's presidential debate. News 13's Rachel Knapp is here with the story. Rachel? Jessica, some New Mexico Democrats are calling out Xochitl Torres Small after she tried to distance herself from Joe Biden and his stance on energy and oil production. By the way, I have a transition from the oil industry, yes. Oh, I will that's transition. A big it is a big statement That's a because big statement. I would stop. Why would you do that? Because the oil industry pollutes significantly. Oh. During last night's presidential debate, President Donald Trump and former Vice President Joe Biden went head to head over a range of issues, including energy and oil production. Because it has to be replaced by renewable energy over time. Biden says his goal is to have net zero emissions by the year 2050, which could impact the oil industry. An industry New Mexico relies heavily on for its economy. After those comments from Biden, New Mexico's Congressional District 2's Democratic Representative Xochitl Torres Small, whose district includes oil rich southeast New Mexico, tweeted this I disagree with VP Biden's statement tonight. Energy is part of the backbone of New Mexico's economy. We need to work together to promote responsible energy production and stop climate change, not demonize a single industry. The tweet drew national attention from Republican Senator Ted Cruz, as well as criticism from Torres Small's constituents and fellow lawmakers from her own party. I was watching the debate last night, just like millions of Americans and vice presidents, soon to be President Biden, in no way demonized the oil and gas industry. And so I thought it was unfortunate that the congresswoman chose to make that representation, which is simply not true. Democratic Senator Jacob Candelaria says although he supports Torres Small in her race, he says this is a policy disagreement. While I certainly can understand the congresswoman's advocacy, of course, you know, she represents the Permian Basin, I think that she can express those concerns without perpetuating really what's a false narrative, which is that Democrats, including the president or try, the vice president, are trying to demonize anybody. This is just another Republican Yvette Harrell, who is facing Torres Small, says in part, Torres Small was quick to pretend she disagreed with Biden's statement. You can read the full statement on alwaysoncareqe.com. Jess. All right. Thank you, Rachel. We reached out to Torres Small. Her office said they would get back to us, but we never heard back.